Hi there, welcome back. Game changer. This is what this Optiplex is called. This is a Dell Optiplex small form factor PC from 2025. It's called Dell Slim Pro Plus something. I don't know what's the model number, but it is a game changer. I cannot believe that Dell has actually made it happen. Like we've been bashing Dell for years about a meaningful, usable, small case when we can put a third party video card and they made it happen. I don't know how good it is. It, this would have been a 2025 model if it would came and it would be shipped with the right cables. But hey, check this out. I'm like super stoked. So how do we know this is a 2025 model? Well, we no longer have the drive bay. If you are not buying a CD-RAM or a hard drive, you're not getting a bay anymore. This bay is not exist, even in a Pro Plus line, unless you buy a DVD or a, unless you buy a hard drive or a solid state from the get-go. What else is not here? Well, we don't have the power connector for our SATA devices. Like as you can see, this is a really, really pro PC now, and I, I'm, I can't believe it's actually here. But this six pin in here, the power connector for our SATA devices, are not there unless you're buying one. So you don't have this cable. What we have here is the PCI Express slot, unbelievable, but moved up. So we can put a double slotted video card into this PC. Of course, it still has to be low profile. What about the power supply? Well, the power supply was always a problem because it's either a 180 power supply or a 240, but none of them has connectors for a graphics card. And Dell not only put a 360 watt power supply in here, but check this out. Let me push this out of the way. We need drums. And look at this guy. We have a mini 8 pin right here for a graphics card. Now this wouldn't be a 2025 model if this thing would have come with the, with the correct cable so we could slam a graphics card in here and just have the cable ready to go. So I ended up ordering before I actually received this from Dell. And look at this 8 pin. It's a Dell PowerEdge server cable for some sort of RTX card. But this 8 pin does not fit. It's a same size, but as you can see, it's only divided in here at the middle. Like this part, every single section is divided, but on the back side, only is divided at the half point, so it physically doesn't go in. I did a Dell chat yesterday, and I was looking for a cable for this guy. They could not give me the cable. They give me something which might gonna work, it's $40 for a cables like this. It's $40, but it has a female end connector. So I still gonna need some kind of cable, like something like this to convert it over to an actual eight pin. So this cable is about 10 bucks. So, so far I spend $50 on two cables, which might gonna work. And this other $9 Dell cable, I was really had high hopes that all I'm gonna have to do is just plug it in and then slam a cord in it and connect an 8 pin or a 6 pin. It is not happening because I would have to cut this backside to four sections. It's only two sections. So this should be four sections. I tried to do it with a knife, but I'm just afraid to plug it in and zap the whole thing, creating a short. So don't do it. Don't, don't, don't even try. So I'm gonna wait for a cable. It should be here in two days. And then we should be able to connect it. Has a female connector, so should be connecting to its male and then feed it back to this 8 pin. And then we should be good to go for a third party graphics card from a 360 watt power supply. Man. And uh, let's pull the front bezel off and check this out. We have, looks like a performance fan right here. And we're going to need it. The reason why Dell was keep putting this slot down in here is not because they were just mean and they just wanted to like mess us up with with a third party video card they usually move this down in here so we could only put a single slotted video card just like 
this one. So previously we could only put this in here or there was maybe a open-ended slot. I can't believe they also did it. This is a open-ended slot, four lane slot. So we can put something longer in here if we need to, but they were not doing this purpose. I mean, they did. The reason why I think they did it because cooling in this case is extremely difficult. It's finally here, but I'm still really, really worried about the heat. I've been doing these Optiplex desktops for 16 years. I know it is extremely difficult to modify anything in a Dell, not because, not because um, they want to make it hard to be modifiable, but because they squeezed, the engine has squeezed everything out of the case, thermalized as they could. Uh, the CPU finally it's an Ultra 7 second generation and they are crazy efficient and they require less cooling. The problem was always even a 3050 OC in here when we put it in last year in 2024 model in this open-ended slot, it generates a lot of heat and messes up the whole case. But, man, let me know in the comment section, please, I'm begging you, let me know in the comment section what should we do with this PC if the cable arrives, what kind of graphics card would you put in? An Intel Arc or maybe a 4060 low profile? Is there anything else you can think of? And it's affordable and it doesn't cost like a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars. Let me know in the comment section. We'll be back with this video with a full review. Thank you for your time. See you. Scott out.